and welcome to my channel. Today we will be unboxing the Brother PQ1500 SL sewing machine. I purchased the sewing machine with the intention of using it for small business sewing. Initially I had an older version of a computerized Brother sewing machine that I was using for personal as well as professional use. My older sewing machine started to show a great deal of wear and tear. I knew if I wanted to take my business to the next level, I would need to invest in better equipment. My main requirement when picking out a sewing machine was that I needed it to be a workhorse. I wanted to be able to sew a wide variety of fabric types without the machine struggling. After researching a variety of machines, I made the decision to purchase this machine from Joanne Fabrics as it seems to meet my needs. So let's unbox this machine and see what all comes with it. One thing to note about this sewing machine is that it is a straight stitch machine. There is no capability to do zigzag stitching or any sort of decorative stitching. And I thought it would be something that I would be a bit concerned about. But then when I thought about it, I solely use straight stitches anyway. So I don't think it's going to be a problem. I love the fact that this machine has color coding for the foot pressure and the feed dog position as it makes it very easy to understand which settings to choose. This machine features a presser foot pressure adjustment dial, which is great because it's going to allow me to adjust the pressure of the presser foot based on the fabric that I'm sewing at the time. Threading this machine takes a little bit more time than it took to thread my past computerized machines. This machine has a thread guide bar, three hold thread guide, as well as a thread tension dial. This machine features an automatic needle threader for convenience. Now I'm the type of person that likes to eyeball sticking the thread into the needle. However, I do look forward to giving this automatic needle threader a try. This machine contains a socket for the knee lifter. When you receive the machine, you'll notice that the knee lift is located under the fabric extension table for storage. adjustment knob is located at the bottom of the machine. This will allow me to adjust the feed dog height to coincide with the fabric weight that I'm sewing at the time. When pushed in the lowered position, the reverse stitch lever allows me to sew in reverse, locking in those stitches. Two of my favorite features on this machine are the knee lifter, which provides me the convenience of lifting the presser foot hands-free, and I love that. It's going to save me so much time. And I absolutely love the thread cutter button. It's going to be so convenient to push the button and it trims the upper thread and the bobbin thread at the end of the seams. The needle stop position button can be used to determine where the needle position is once sewing stops. When the indicator light is lit up, the sewing machine will stop sewing with the needle lowered through the fabric. When the indicator lamp is off, the needle position when sewing stops will be random. 
The machine features a stitch link regulator dial, which allows me to adjust the stitch length from one to seven. The top of this machine features a bobbin winding clutch, making it easy to wind your bobbins. To note, this machine uses metal SA-159 bobbins. To prepare for threading the machine, raise the thread guide bar all the way up, mount a spool of thread on the spool pin, use a spool cap when using parallel wound thread, use spool cushion when using cross wound thread. Let's take a look at the accessories that come with this machine. This machine comes with the following accessories, a small and medium screwdriver, a cleaning brush, a knee lifter, a variety of needles, a lining plate screw, a fabric separator, feed pin and feed pin changer, general purpose foot, five bobbins, a spool cap, rolled hem foot, a zipper foot, an invisible zipper foot, a quarter inch foot, a free motion quilting foot, a walking foot, a seam guide, a foot controller, a fabric extension table, a spool net, and on the machine there's a pin feed foot and a spool cushion. This machine also comes with a soft cover to keep your machine dust free. One thing to note about the bobbin section of this machine is that it features a quick bobbin thread device. This device cuts the bobbin thread in to the appropriate length after the bobbin has been replaced and holds it at this length. I'm so excited about this purchase and I cannot wait to make tons of beautiful pieces on this sewing machine. And I hope you'll be on this journey right along with me. Thank you for watching today's video. If you're interested in small business tips and sewing tutorials, please subscribe. I look forward to making more content for you.